Hey, what's up guys? Today is actual day four of working on the wiring harness. In the last video, um, I was working on all my fuel injector connectors and uh, like one or two other connectors as well. Uh, that took up a lot of time. I know these videos have been pretty long. Uh, sorry about that. I really don't want to edit like everything through. I want to keep it as raw as possible. Uh, if you guys like it, let me know. If you guys don't like it, uh, also let me know and uh, I'll see what I can do about that. Uh, I still have a lot of connectors to do. There's still a lot. I'm just gonna start chipping away at it. So let's get going. All right, so I'm gonna, I guess I'll start working on this bundle of wires. Um, I think this is mostly for uh, transmission stuff. Uh, I know one of them is an ABS connector. I think it might be this one, I forget. And one of them is, I think this is the neutral safety switch. I do have a new connector for one of these. I'm going to replace the super oily one. All right, let's trace these back. So I'm going to need a black and then a red and a blue. Looks like this has been replaced already. Number five over. One, two, three, four, five. Um, so I really don't have the proper pin. I forgot about that. I have one that's super close. It's this HE050. Uh, it fits, but it doesn't like lock down. So I'm just gonna get it wired and I'm gonna order the proper pins and then just re-pin them here. Uh, it will be super easy just to go in and re-pin it, but I'm just going to start moving on.
All right, so this one wire that goes to, this should be my cold start injector. The One of the black wires that uh, branches off, it leads to this uh, this splice right here. Two other wires connect to it, and it's one of uh, a big wire that I believe leads to the, uh, I think it leads to the diagnostic box up there. I decided to trace this back so I can run the a big trace wire that leads all the way down here and then I found out that it trace uh, it branches off again to two smaller black and brown wires that lead to this connector right here so working on that right now Sorry about that guys, my camera died. When I was when I was bridging these three connectors, all I did, I crumped those together, 
ran this other wire through and then I just crimped that on. I'm going to finish running this wire through, connecting it to here, and then connecting the other wire wherever the other one goes. All right, got that done.
there's so many of these bridges along this whole circuit. It's, it's crazy. Well, uh, two of the tabs that hold this piece together, uh, it broke. So I'm gonna have to find another one of these connectors online.
All right, guys, that's going to do it for me for tonight. Um, I got a decent amount done. Um, I spent a lot of time trying to find a certain connector. I got a few wires done. Uh, a lot of the same wire that I was doing had a lot of bridge off connections on it, so that was pretty tedious. I had to trace where, where those other lines went, make sure I did it properly, so that kind of took up a lot of time. Um, I do have to order new uh, pins, or maybe I can just modify the ones I already have, which will work just fine. Yeah, I got a little bit done, so I'll pick it up on the next day and uh, just keep chugging along. If you guys like this video, go ahead and leave a like, subscribe to see more videos like these, and uh, check out my shorts. Um, also, like I said in the beginning, these videos are a little bit longer. Um, I just, it's just a lot of stuff to go through and like chop up and edit, especially if someone's like trying to follow along with uh, doing their own wiring harness. I don't want to like chop up a lot of segments and uh, I just want to keep it like kind of, kind of raw all the way through, just fast forward it. Anyway, you guys have a good one.